Yeah, on one hand, there's there's not much new here in as much as for the past several years, the plan by Israel had been to export a significant amount of its natural gas to, to Egypt, where it will be liquefied and sent to any market. So what is new is that the European Union now has gotten into the middle of this arrangement and is saying, okay, we're gonna buy we're gonna buy that gas. So the other option for the Israeli gas exports is to create a pipeline to Turkey. And that is in no way affected by this plan. Again, this is implementing a plan that's kind of long been on the books. And what could be, will be the impact on geopolitics here? Uh, well, it's an important signal to Russia that new geopolitical vectors are emerging that were never really thought of before, namely mm. Egypt and the European Union in response to Russia's unprovoked invasion of uh, Ukraine, but also you know, strengthening uh, Israel-Egypt ties. They, mm. they, they have been strained in recent years, uh, but now we can see all three of these groupings, I mean, Israel, Egypt, uh, and then the EU are really coming together and demonstrating that they, that they, they need to work together. Uh, another question is, does this sort of cooperation between Israel and Egypt on natural gas and the EU increase the likelihood of a pipeline from Egypt all the way to the EU space in Greece? Uh, and that's another pipeline project that's been debated for some time. And as this all uh, develops and all these uh, agreements are made, uh, how do you expect Russia to react? As you said, you know, the, this, this is for the first time we're seeing a collaboration here by some, uh, by some countries, for example, Israel uh, and, and Egypt for the first time. That's what uh, Israel's prime minister tweeted. Yes, Maria. But as I was saying, you know, the, they've been planning to do this, mm -hmm. meaning Israel and Egypt for quite some time. So Russia's reaction is going to be consistent. Uh, it's going to be to squeeze the European Union as much as it can, try to intimidate the European Union into believing Russia may reduce and cut off gas supplies as, as negotiating leverage. And in recent days, as, as the package was reporting, uh, Russia has reduced flows of natural gas to Europe precisely at the moment when the European Union is saying, we've got to fill our natural gas storage facilities to get ready for this coming winter. So Russia is going to keep squeezing Europe. And I think we're going to see uh, a, a winter in Europe where uh, there's going to be a big reduction in industrial consumption of natural gas because there simply isn't going to be enough supply.